The book of Boba Fett has finished with some what mixed reviews, but hey, I liked it. And here it is, a recap of all of the guaranteed sets that we will be getting from the book of Boba Fett, added in with some of my own ideas and creations for new Lego Boba Fett sets. Getting into the video then, and we have a guaranteed set already made and ready to go. That being the Star Wars throne room set with the death of Bib Fortuna. Now what a set. This set is going to be an amazing one to look at and I am really excited for it. It is going to have lots of different characters and let's get into it now. So just looking at it, it's a bit smaller than the Jabba the Hutt throne room in the future. But we'll get into that a bit later on. So it's got some great designs and some great characters in this set. It's going to come out on the 1st of March with 732 pieces. It's going to cost £89.99 or $99. And it's going to have Boba Fett, Fennec Shan, Biff Fortuna, Feel and Dancer, Corrin, Gamorian Guard and Weekar Guard. So it's not a bad set. It's a pretty good set. And it's got some quite cool characters in it that I personally really, really like. I think this is a set... I can easily get you two of the main characters, obviously that being Boba Fett and Fennec Shand in it. Obviously, Bill Fortuna, this is sort of reminiscent at the end of the Mandalorian, but still a great set. Sort of a bit of a mini scale down Jabba the Hutt's Palace since the 2012 version, but still a very, very cool set. Personally, I think it was maybe a little bit too expensive, but some of the characters in it are very, very cool. And I think this is the perfect way to sum up the start. Of Boba Fett. Obviously, only two sets have been confirmed right now, and if it is only these two sets, I'm a little bit disappointed that they have chosen this one to use, other, either than some of the other ones. So, continuing on then, we have a new look at probably one of my favourite sets, or the, my favourite set that's obviously been made here, is the Mandalorian's new ship. The return of Grogu in Mando's Naboo, Naboo Speedfighter which whilst not as impressive or spacious as the Razor Crest, still is a great set to look at. So this set again is almost just as exciting as the Razor Crest. I personally really like this set. I think it's insane to see what they've done with it. And we get some characters I don't know we've had before. So obviously we have obviously got Mando and Grogu. Have we got Pelimoto? I am not too sure about that one. And we get a BD droid very similar to the um, Jedi cow in Jedi Fallen Order. I think this set is really, really scaled down. And, uh, well, not scaled down, but it's a really cool set to get some of the characters in it. But $54.99 for this set, it just doesn't seem like it is worth it for me. Like, $54.99 for this set is pretty insane pretty crazy and it just shows the lego star wars inflation of this set i do like this set obviously 412 pieces um four characters basically two characters and two mini characters it's a really cool set and a really cool thing to sort of go through uh, Man the mandalorian series free sort of um, vibe that we got from Boba Fett towards the end there, but still a really cool set to have in here, and I personally do really, really like it. I think it's a cool set, it looks really nice, and it is a bit crazy. I personally would, would buy this. The Dark Saber though, is shocking. The Dark Saber does not look like how the Dark Saber is going to look. It's not a light, it's not a black lightsaber. I don't know why they've gone with that sort of vibe. It should be like a sort of sword, um, with a different style about. I'm not really a fan of having just a black lightsaber. That doesn't look really that good to me, and hopefully some modifications can be made to that. I'm sure someone can do a much better version of it than that. But looking at what I think now, so I think, firstly, the Jedi, oh, sorry, the Boba Fett's, like, sort of palace, I think that can be drastically improved on. And very easily. So a Rancor Star Wars set is what I'd want. It would have a cool look at the Rancor. Which would fit perfectly in an expansion to the Throne Room set. Which has already been announced with a detailed improvement on Jabba the Palace's set in 2012. 
who would see the palace in Boafet's image and his different ways of working than Jabba the Hutt did. So, like, cage that falls down into a rancor pit. Maybe you'd see, like, the rancor pit would have some, like, instead of bones and all this stuff, like, surrounding it, have some nicer things on it, which would be very, very cool. This would allow multiple sets um, combining um, together. Very similar to the Chamber of Secrets in Harry Potter last year. But it also makes the, set, the sets more attainable and worthwhile to buy at the time. So it's more of a collection of sets. Would mean that like, a lot more people would want to buy them. I would love to see an update on the Rancor. I think the last Rancor was a very, very good minifigure. And I would love to see it. I do not want a Lego built Rancor. Maybe if it's like Grawp or something like that, it could be really good. But I just like the old design. I think an update to that would still be very, very good. And this could even be an opportunity to add the twins in. Who whilst had a minor role, they were still very much more influential than Biff or Tuna. Who we know will appear um, in the future in that set, as I told you on the 1st of March. Um, the set in terms of characters would obviously be very similar. Maybe you'd have a Mando and some of my other characters, ones who weren't in the in the other one. So that's why I think maybe this one's probably the least likely. But you could see way more characters appearing in the future, which would make it a great set. Probably be around the same price, which would be insane, but hopefully a little bit cheaper. But Lego Star Wars inflation these days is pretty insane. So next up then as we know the book of Boba Fett towards the end was basically the mandalorian series 3 with much of the last three episodes dedicated to mando so a smaller set featuring mando ahsoka watching on as luke trains grogu would be the most ideal set to put in around him now i was thinking about maybe doing him with the other mandalorians showing that they were alive but instead i do think that it is or would be much more better to put Luke in. Obviously, he is um, the most popular Lego Star Wars character ever, I think. So, it might be hard to capture in Lego form, but I would definitely put the Luke where Grogu um, gets trained by Luke and Ahsoka Mandalorian can be in the background. Or maybe it's just Ahsoka and Luke and, Ma and um, Grogu and leave Mando out. As we already know, he's being uh, in the other set with Grogu in the spaceship. But I would love to see a Luke and Ahsoka making an appearance in the Lego Boba Fett set. It would be well, obviously it's a popular set, like I said, put him back into rotation. I would love to see the set in the future, probably pricing around 30, 40 pounds, a little bit cheaper than the, um, than the Boost Beach Fighter set. Now, that would be a really cool set to see. I want to know you guys' opinions on that. Um, my honourable mention that I don't really want, but I've got to put it in here. Boba Fett had a massive journey with the Tusken Raiders, well, definitely not my favourite part of the series. Probably one of the worst parts, really. It could come up with some great sets, especially when they board the train and stop it. Could It could work. It could not work. Maybe it would. I don't think it would um, work. That's why it's an honourable mention. Now, I think some of you might have guessed this. The final set that we definitely 100% need is a final battle, especially the final summed up battle between Boba Fett and Cad Bane which emphasised and brought back one of my favourite Star Wars Clone Wars characters. And unfortunately he died, but it was a great ending to his character, and not and one that we Star Wars fans knew was coming around for a while. Therefore, the battle between these two would be a great set to add, and if the Rancor is not added in with the previous set, I mentioned this could be a way to put him in here, with Cad Bane obviously setting fire to the Rancor to drive him away, easy to add him in, easy to put him around. This one could be a set very similar to Maul versus Ahsoka. But what a moment in the series. I love this battle. Cad Bane probably have elevated the Pikes. The Pikes were... I'm going to not lie. The Pikes were terrible as a villain. They were all right. I get it. They were doing spice trades and stuff. But Cad Bane really elevated them up and pushed them further. And then obviously he antagonised Boba Fett and got killed. So, very, very smart from him at that time. And we shall see what happens with Cad Bane. Obviously, I don't mean in the future he's dead. I mean, what would happen with him in the past? What others... Can we get a Cad Bane series? What he's doing throughout the Empire while Boba Fett's working for the Empire? 
that could all be seen but I would love this set definitely not being a very expensive set towards this point I would definitely want this one to be there though so thank you guys for watching another Lego Access video make sure to like make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one also comment down your favorite Lego um, Boba Fett sets you would love to see and also check out my other video I talk about how I tried to purchase some Lego and Jago sets and I got scammed so make sure to check that one out in well you can see it on screen now so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one peace